Hello and welcome. My name is Anil Wala. I am a passionate equity market investor, primarily into small cap and micro cap ideas and keep an active track on various SME listings on BSE and NSE platform. Today we have with us Mr. Umar Balwa, Managing Director of Silmatic India Limited who have filed their DRHP on 5th January 2023. I would like to know more about the company in this interview. Before I go into specifics, I would like to know why are you considering to go public through BSE SME platform? Uh, as you know that we have filed our uh, draft prospectus on the BSE SME platform, uh, which was on the 5th of January uh, 2023. And uh, this is of course uh, subject to various statutory approvals. Um, filing our DRHP or a company like uh, Steelmatic SME gives a greater platform uh, to create uh, credibility. Uh, it also allows companies like uh, you know Steelmatic SMEs to have uh, greater access to finance, a better valuation for their uh, company and their shares, and also gives enough funds to have acquisition, mergers, expansion, and so on and so forth. How do you feel about various SME listings that have gained tremendous response in the recent past? Well, SMEs, uh, if you talk about um, their position in India, they play a pivotal uh, role in the development of any you know, industrial economy. So today when we talk about um, Indian scenario on the SMEs, it has a tremendous uh, potential to play a key role for making India an industrial hub. On the similar lines what Germany did, what Japan did and what uh, South Korea did. And we have the same pattern to follow to make India as a global hub for manufacturing. There are almost 15,000 quality, high, highly engineered SMEs across the length and breadth of the country which are involved into high-tech uh, you know, uh, businesses in various fields. And when you talk about SME listings, uh, if you look at the history, uh, there are about 394 companies which are listed on the BSE SME platform. And uh, at the time of listing, the valuation was close to about 4,200 crores. But today, if you look at the valuation as of October that I just researched, it shows a humongous uh, incremental valuation. It's almost 60,000 crores. And uh, this says it all. How do you view the future of SME sector in India? Before I get onto this uh, uh, question, I would like to break it into various parts. Uh, when we talk about SME, uh, I will give an example of Germany. So the equivalent of SME in uh, Germany would be Mittelstand. And the Mittelstand contributes almost 60% of the gross revenue for Germany and employs an equal number of people into various uh, fields of industrial activities. And that is how Germany is the powerhouse of the world uh, today. Now, when we talk about uh, SME's role into Indian industry, it would play a pivotal role in fulfilling the vision of our Honorable Prime Minister to make India as a 5 trillion economy and also it would be a, a flag bearer for our industrial growth and to my knowledge uh, this would be something of an industrial revolution which is going to come up in the next uh, few years. And for statistics if you look at uh, the SMEs. Uh, employment. They employ more than 100 million people, uh, second only to agriculture. So um, SMEs are going to play a, a huge role and uh, it, is, it is so heartening and glad to see that uh, support from various uh, quarters is coming in. Uh, for example, the SME platforms created by both BSE and NSE uh, government's uh, initiatives, uh, access to finance and so on and so forth. So uh, the growth story is uh, tremendous and uh, there is a story to be told uh, from the SME. What is our current capacity utilization in the operational unit at Silmatic? What are our proposed expansion plans? Sir, can you help us with uh, more detail about the project? Uh, yes, of course. Uh, today uh, we are housed in Mira Road and we have expansion plans to have Unit 2 which will be operational in the next uh, financial year. Uh, to talk about capacity, we did about uh, 43 crores uh, in the financial year 
2022 and uh, we expect to touch 55 crores so that would be a capacity utilization of 85% and with the incremental uh, enhancement of capacity in the unit 2 we would be approximately adding 60% of our capacity enhancement can you tell us about the cost of the proposed expansion plan um, ideally, uh, we would prefer uh, an infusion of funds to an extent of uh, rupees 40 crores, and uh, that would be employed in uh, uh, creating enhanced uh, manufacturing facilities, uh, more of R&D, uh, expansion of uh, sales and marketing, not only in India but in Europe, in USA and the and the Middle East, and other corporate uh, expenses that we uh, foresee as we grow our business. So that's the plan for our, you know, utilization of our funds and hopefully uh, we are on the road to, you know, attract investors uh, from the, from the uh, BSC SME uh, platform and of course that is subject to uh, various statutory uh, regulatory approvals. Please tell us about Cinematic's global position in the advanced ceiling industry. Kindly share your journey so far. The journey so far has been interesting and uh, 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 if I take the liberty of taking you through a nostalgia, I, I started in this industry in 1989 uh, when I was a young boy of 22 years of age and that's how the you know, journey began in, uh, in the field of mechanical seals. Thereafter, we had a joint venture with Fyodor Bergman of Germany uh, in 1993 and uh, that joint venture lasted for uh, about 14 years. Uh, when it got taken over by a larger conglomerate uh, in Germany. And we ended our uh, joint venture uh, in 2007. Uh, thereafter, I started out uh, once again in this uh, interesting field. Uh, as we say, once a sealman, always a sealman. So this uh, industry is uh, enchanting and it attracts uh, a lot of you know, uh, attraction um, globally. So we started out in 2011 uh, as Sealmatic. And we are proud to say that we are a global player in the business of mechanical seals. Our products are exported to more than 45 countries uh, globally and uh, well accepted as a high-end uh, engineered product. Also, if we talk about our uh, you know, journey, uh, we feel that uh, being an Indian company, we are no lesser than any of the foreign companies, especially the three big boys who are operational in India for the last four decades. And uh, we are here to claim our rightful position in the mechanical seal industry. We are approved by various uh, end users such as Reliance, or IOCL, HPCL, BPCL, NTPC, OEMs like VHL, KSB, Sulzer, so on and so forth. And uh, we, have, we have created a, a mark in the industry and uh, we are well accepted and well respected in the ceiling, uh, in the ceiling sphere. What are the major factors driving the growth of mechanical steel industry in India? Uh, if you look at mechanical steel industry uh, from its very nascent stage, I'll, I'll talk about India. Say about the early 80s and what uh, it is today, it has, it has you know, um, grown uh, leaps and bounds. And uh, the major factors uh, or the sectors uh, which uh, would be uh, responsible for an incremental growth uh, in, in mechanical steel industry uh, would be oil and gas, refinery, petrochemical, power plants, pulp and paper, pharmaceutical, and so on and so forth. And uh, stricter uh, legislations uh, for environmental protection, uh, for safety, and other um, uh, ideas needs to be considered while uh, you know designing or planning any new uh, unit. Uh, Maybe a refinery or a power plant or whatever you know, industrial uh, core sector uh, is being uh, you know, established uh, in the country, uh, a mechanical seal uh, with its uh, sophisticated offerings uh, has to be uh, deployed in that plant. And uh, the, if you look at the Indian economy, it is growing at a rapid pace. And uh, with, with this growth, there is going to be a, a tremendous growth in the core sector. Mainly, I would say still, I would, you know, uh, put my bat on uh, refinery, power plants, oil and gas, chemical, pharmaceutical. We are a population of uh, 1.35 billion people and you can imagine the kind of infrastructure the country would need to cater to such a huge population is going to create demand uh, for high-end uh, mechanical seals and that's where 
companies like Silmatic would benefit and uh, get their rightful share in the growth of the country's uh, industrial you know, revolution. What are the major factors that set Silmatic apart from other competitors? Oh, there are many, many factors and uh, I don't want to sound uh, pompous, but uh, uh, the investment that we have made uh, in our manufacturing unit uh, is uh, uh, incomparable. Uh, when we ended our joint venture in uh, 2007, uh, we took a very conscious decision that if we have to install a manufacturing unit, it has to be world class. And uh, we were exposed to world class uh, technology from our erstwhile days as a steel company. And I would be very proud to say that we have had more than 100 visitors coming to our plant and everybody is surprised and people coming from the Western world, the, the developed economics, and they have appreciated to what we have established here as a steel company. And uh, when we talk about our infrastructure, we are uh, approved by API Q1, uh, you know, uh, all the relevant certifications such as ATAX, such as FDA. Also, I'm very proud to say that uh, Sealmatic is the only SME company which has got approval from the Ministry of Science and Technology. So our unit is approved as a as a you know recognized uh, R and D unit. Uh, so if we talk about the investment uh, into R and D, uh, that alone itself uh, would be equivalent to a small company operating out of India, and uh, that's the kind of seriousness, that's the kind of commitment we have shown uh, to our industry for our customers. What kind of market share are you looking for in the next five to seven years? Uh, uh, before I answer this question, uh, I need to also, you know, uh, uh, get into the specifics that uh, any steel company um, requires at least 10 years to attain uh, maturity. And now that we have attained uh, that maturity, uh, we feel that uh, we have a role to play uh, in the Indian mechanical steel industry. And uh, having said this, we are looking at market share in the coming years and uh, why I say this is that because all the ingredients what were needed to get ourselves over here and to take us into the future uh, has been invested and uh, we feel that attaining a market share uh, would be achievable, it wouldn't be a challenge for us. Considering the current market uh, position, uh, the market uh, you know, size for mechanical seeds today in India is approximately 1,900 crores and uh, by 2028 I feel it should be touching at around 2,800 crores and uh, the global market for mechanical seals today is 4.5 billion dollars that's huge and it is expected to grow at 5% uh, CAGR continuously for the uh, coming many years. So that, that's the kind of you know market which is available for companies like Sealmatic um, and we feel that we should be able to achieve this share. So wishing you all the best for your proposed business plan and I am confident you will get all the approvals from the capital market regulator. Uh, thank you so much Anil and uh, I would like to take this opportunity to thank all our stakeholders who have been with us through uh, you know thick and thin and uh, also uh, most importantly our uh, team members of 240 plus who have put their you know heart, their sweat blood into making what Silmatic is today and uh, together uh, we are confident uh, that uh, we will uh, make India proud and uh, we will be a part of that you know industrial uh, growth that India is looking at to make our country a 5 trillion economy. Thank you very much.